So uh, I had a number of people ask me why, uh, why I moved to eBay. Um, I think the short answer is, um, you know, at Yahoo, we had a ton of data, and of course I love that. Uh, but we always said, you know, what would make this data more actionable is if we had not just all the behavioral data, but if we had the transaction data too. And of course at Yahoo, that's not really the business they were in. And guess what? At eBay, they have everything. All the behavioral data, all the transactional data. Um, it's, a, it's a fun place to be. More than having a massive amount of data, eBay has an executive team that believes that you can optimize the business with data. And um, that's a breath of fresh air. Um, and I don't think I could ever go work somewhere that didn't have an executive staff that felt that way. So let me talk a little bit about what I'm doing and some of the things that we're seeing um, at eBay. Um, I want to tell you before I start that um, if you're uh, easily offended, there is some nudity in this. Um, it's appropriate nudity, but just um, if you're uh, offended, then um, I, want you, I want to tell you that now. Um, I'll also tell you that um, I told one of um, the folks in this room earlier that um, I have some nudity in the presentation, and his response was, why some? <laughs> okay, so with that, uh, how many know what eBay is? Okay, I'm kidding. So um, many of you think eBay is what eBay was back in 1999, uh, which looked something like this. Um, and I, I thought it was a kick to see over on the right 41 million items for sale on eBay since inception, which is not too bad. Um, except that uh, today um, we have over 200 million listings on the site that are active today. Um, so we've come quite a way. And uh, many people also think of eBay as the place you go to um, uh, win the penguin suit from Big Brother or um, uh, find a piece of cereal that's shaped like uh, the state of Illinois. Um, uh, or, um, this is actually up for auction right now, um, a bust of Kevin Bacon made from bacon. <laughs> so you have a couple more days to buy this if you, uh, or to bid on it if you want to. So eBay is still a lot of fun. However, it's not all it is. We have a community. We have a global community of users. We have a lot of folks who come and make their business on eBay. We're using analytics within the company to think about how do we optimize the user experience for the sellers and the buyers. The sellers are thinking about how fast they can get things sold and how fast they can get them uh, up you know, on, on eBay. Um, the buyers are looking to make sure that they can trust that they're going to get what they buy. Uh, and that they have a good selection. And of course, both the sellers and the buyers are interested in optimizing value. I want to talk about some of the things that we're doing on the analytics side uh, that, that you see through the site and which might be different from your memory or, or what you've seen if you haven't been to eBay lately. When you type into the search box, we do autocomplete. So obviously that helps uh, the buyers get to where they want to go faster. Um, all computed on you know, the data back end for the massive amount of data that we have. But um, we also are able to uh, provide suggestions to things that the seller wants us to look at. So whether it's an outlet, uh, if you look for Disney, Disney outlet is on eBay. Um, or maybe you type in Prada and you're looking for handbags, we have a, a way for you to search for handbags. Uh, or maybe a diamond ring, we actually uh, have an ability for you to be able to create your own diamond ring. Also, uh, we move thousands and thousands of items each day through our daily deal. Um, this is where we look at what's hot and we look at where we can provide value to the market. And we go to sellers and we say, um, we'd like several thousands of these to come online. Uh, now, obviously eBay doesn't do the selling. Um, we facilitate that. But to the best to our ability, if we use our data to facilitate the buying and the selling, uh, everybody, everybody's happy, and we sell, you know, we'll sell hundreds or thousands of these items each day, uh, these individual items, and the sellers obviously love that. 
So, so I have a quiz, just two quiz questions. Um, and if you saw, uh, if you saw my talk at uh, OMMA, um, Michelle, you can't answer this. Uh, how much has eBay lowered the insertion price? Uh, there's an insertion fee uh, that you have when you, uh, uh, when you list something, and then there's a fee that you pay on the final value. Uh, since 2007, any guesses how much? Or maybe we've raised it, but I didn't put that on there. 99 is right. We have actually lowered 99%. And um, here's a little data point for you. Um, it's come down significantly in terms of efficiency. Obviously, our sellers love this um, because uh, we share the risk uh, as opposed to having them take on a, a lot of burden of the risk. Another thing that we've done within the data team is um, we compute what we call the seller to the seller performance standards. Uh, we are um, looking at sellers from many different angles, uh, whether it be shipping cost or shipping time or communication or whether the uh, item that you uh, shipped was the item that was ordered. Um, we look at these detailed seller uh, ratings and feedback and we compute these uh, scores for all the sellers. Our top and percent become eBay top rated sellers. Uh, and not only do you get a little badge, but you can also um, get higher placements through in the search uh, listings on the site. And you can see the impact. Um, the marketplace trusts these sellers. Uh, and we grew, uh, within, this, within the span of a very short amount of time, a 50% increase in the amount of gross merchandise value uh, being sold through our trusted sellers. And this, so this is a way that we are trying to create, bring more trust to the marketplace through analytics. Another is the eBay buyer protection. Uh, basically, if you buy something and um, it's the wrong thing, um, there's no risk to you. We'll, we'll, we'll make it right if the seller can't make it right. That's pretty big. Uh, but another thing that we need to do is make sure that there's trust in the market. And then finally on selection, um, uh, m many folks think of eBay as an auction site. And I think you, know, you have to say it probably is the premier auction site. But um, most of our listings these days are fixed price. Uh, and this just shows you some of the ramp in, in the fixed price uh, uh, numbers that we have in our core search. And these aren't just you know, from, from you know, me cleaning out my, uh, my shoebox right, or my garage. Um, these are names. These are big names. These are some of the folks, actually, that are speaking here, in fact. Um, these, are, these are some very big names that are represented. So from an analytics standpoint, what we're doing is we're not starting with what data do I have and what can I figure out from that. That sort of bottoms up approach. We're starting from the end. The end is what does the customer want? Let's figure out what the customer wants and then just go do that as opposed to what do I have or what do I want the customer to do. So I'll give you some examples. Um, I want to look for address, say. Right? I did this yesterday. Uh, 655,000 dresses. Um, I don't want to look through all those. Sorry. So um, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to shop for a dress. I'm going to look for a knee length cap sleeve, blue, um, a large size, thank you, um, and new. Um, you can't see that it's, I picked blue and new because they're down the vertical uh, nav on the left. Now I have 62 results. Much more uh, attractive to me now that I can go search through and find out um, what I need. This, that, that just launched a couple of weeks ago, by the way. Uh, and this is uh, a similar one for, our, uh, for looking for a diamond. Um, if I, uh, I want to pick my cut, my color, my clarity, my, my shape, and, uh, and all that, uh, then, um, and say I want to spend no more than, say, you know, X amount of money, um, put all those in, back comes a list, much more um, easy to deal with to find what you want. So second quiz, I swear there's only two. How much gross merchandise value do we think we're going to generate from mobile devices in 2010? Any guesses? Shout it out. $1.5 billion. Oh, sorry. Billion dollars <laughs> in GMV. Uh, people are buying stuff from mobile devices. Um, if you haven't seen the eBay, I have a, the iPad here. 
And if you haven't seen the eBay uh, app, actually I've been looking at Lamborghinis, um, uh, it's amazing, it's great stuff. And people are buying cars, they're buying boats, they're buying airplanes, they're buying um, shoes, they're buying toothpaste, they're buying everything uh, over the mobile devices. And, and we think that's gonna continue to grow at a significant rate. So uh, you always hear, you know, is mobile coming, is mobile coming? Hey, mobile's here, man. We're doing a billion and a half dollars in business, uh, and you can tweet that. <laughs> so here's uh, some screen snapshots from our mobile app. We have a dedicated app just for eBay fashion. Uh, and um, it's got very interesting things as part of it. Not only are you just looking at various components of, uh, of the fashion store, but um, you, uh, you can have a virtual closet where you um, take a picture of yourself and upload it. Um, you can try on outfits and put them on. You can send them to your friends. Well, how would I look in this? Um, uh, it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so what else do we do? Um, We've got over 50,000 categories, and we, it's a very high-velocity business. Um, so um, I won't bore you with the numbers, but we've got more than 6,000 people using the data every day. Many of them are uh, actually uh, call center folks um, who see a call record come up uh, right away. We power that uh, when, someone, when someone emails or calls in. Um, we, we take in about yeah, 50 terabytes a day. Um, and um, we do this pretty much all, pretty much all in real time. All kinds of analytics happening uh, at eBay. Um, what's funny about this is I put this together, I forgot to put web analytics on here, uh, but we do that too. <laughs> so w one of the challenges is, um, you know, when there's things that you need to do every day, you want to make them as cheap as possible, right? So things to run the business. What is GMV in North America yesterday? What was the number? How does it compare to the year-over-year -year number in terms of percentage change? Um, how many items did we sell? All that kind of stuff is something that we produce every day. Every morning I get an email. Executive leadership gets an email. Um, that's the sort of level of dashboard that you want uh, to be able to know directionally uh, you know, speed and heading, right? That's, and, and then is there sort of any traffic ahead? That's kind of what you want to know in a dashboard. All the rest of the stuff is just noise. So pare it down to the basics um, and do it as cheaply as you can. Because most of what the business wants is not the cheap stuff, it's the really expensive stuff. Um, and uh, it's expensive, but it's potentially very high in ROI. And, and so we spend a lot of time focusing on testing, experimentation, and exploration. Um, th there's no one system that does this. So this is a, a, an actual evaluation that we did of three different systems. Um, these are sort of the big data systems, um, like a Teradata or whatever, where we look at these various components and say, what are the things that we are looking for and how good are they? And nobody really does it. Um, and so as a result, we don't have just one. We have multiple systems. So um, uh, let me... Uh, bore you with a few more numbers here. So we do have two big uh, relational uh, systems. They're sort of active, active warehouses that are separated by um, a thousand miles in case one of them uh, you know, has a lightning strike or an earthquake or whatever. Um, and then we also have uh, two other systems uh, of semi-structured data and a, a very large grid uh, data that we have as well. Um, that's today um, we're building uh, we're building significantly more, uh, and so this will at least double uh, next year in terms of the just raw amount of data that we have. So here's my warning if, uh, if you need to leave the room uh, because there, there's some nudity here. So um, this is the first, this is a bare floor. And um, this, is, this is kind of the, um, I don't know what to say, I get all choked up when I see this. Um, this is so much potential here, uh, and uh, you just want to make it sing. All right? So what we did here was we're, we started to build out that six terabyte system uh, here. And so we worked with a vendor um, to build us, uh, here, is the, um, uh, here is the naked drives um, um, for that bare floor uh, earlier. Uh, and so there's 10 uh, one terabyte drives in this rack, and then uh, up in the top left, top right, you see a little SSD drive that powers it all. Um, we had these custom made for us, and we 
You see no fans inside the chassis or any power supply. That's because it's like a big rack and we just slide them in and the rack has the fans and the power supply. Uh, am I boring you here? Uh, and uh, we said we, we, we want more uh, discs in there and they said, well, um, we don't have enough you know, cooling and, 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 and all that, uh, so you can't put two more in, uh, which you know, it's, it's a crime that they're just empty. Anyway, so um, we switched vendors. And um, <laughs> we, I'm not kidding, and um, we're building out our new system in there, um, two terabyte drives instead of one terabyte drives, and we're going to put 12 of them in. Um, yeah, so. Um, and then we rack them and we, we turn them on, we watch the lights blink, and then we run outside to watch the uh, electric meter spin really fast. <laughs>